the boat name. That's gonna... Delicia. Delicia? Like the pizza? <laughs> Playing game after game after game, and none of them were ever Assassin's Creed. My name is Oli. I am a game collector, a game player, I'm just a gamer. Today I'm gonna be looking at all of the cinematic trailers of Assassin's Creed. I don't even know what the game's about. I don't know how many Assassin's Creed's there are. I don't even know any of the characters. All I know is that there's this dude with a hood. That's, that's literally all I know about Assassin's Creed. If I had to go on a whim here, I'm gonna say Assassin's Creed, you are an assassin that's part of a creed. <laughs> I'm right, aren't I? I totally knew it. All right, let's get into it. How long is this thing? 47 minutes? Oh gosh. Okay, I gotta get some snacks. This is turning into a mukbang really fast. Come back with not the most appetizing snack. It's some pickled garlic and jalapeno. <laughs> That's all I can find. Also, I really enjoy it, so it's not even that gross to me. Let's bring it back to 2007. Assassin's Creed 1. Oh, I had no idea. Inspired by historical events and characters. It's pretty neat. This kind of reminds me of the Shrek era. <laughs> what is that, the Renaissance? The Renaissance, right? I'm not that much of an idiot. Okay, that's the main character with the hood. This is Hunchback of Notre Dame era. <laughs> no decency, can't even say excuse me. Oh, that's so pretty cool. That is assassin style. Oh, poor lady. Oh, here's his crew. I mean, his creed. <laughs> they don't look like assassins. Okay, so I'm gonna guess right now. Actually, I'll wait till the end. Oh, that was the end. That was the end. Okay, wasn't too much to go off of. But it looks like he had to assassinate. Wait. I need to rewind, hold on. I need to just kind of take a quick peek back. I feel like maybe I was talking so much I ruined it for myself. Who did he kill? Okay, so he killed a guard. And it looked like they were doing a mass execution, which already happened. So he didn't really save anybody. <laughs> he didn't save anybody, but... <laughs> He probably had that guard on his hit list. I don't know. But it showed that, yes, number one, he's definitely an assassin, especially with those fine moves. And number two, he had a creed that he was merging himself in with. Maybe it's the creed of the city, town, the creed of that area. And I, I kind of have this suspicion that the creed is part of a religious church that has a, a team of assassins that they deploy when they need to get their business done, if that makes sense. <laughs> All right, that's what I'm going to go off of right now. Venice, Italy. All right, I'm 
I'm gonna guess they're going to masquerade. Unless that's just part of their attire. Nope, nope, they're going to masquerade. What if they were actually gross underneath those masks? And you chose wrong, ladies. Something bad is gonna happen to him, I know it. tripping out. No, he got stabbed. I wonder if he used the same stab, uh, the same knife he, he used in the other trailer. I don't even know if these games are one after the other, but they look like they're in the same era. And that dude's bottom half of his face looks the same too. Alright, this guy just likes to go around and start a bunch of shit. Okay, so he's after him. Ooh, look at the upper body strike. He's like, I see you. You have to stop him. Too late. He's an assassin! He's gonna come after you! It looks like he's wearing two masks. Oh, GG. <gasps> it's over. Okay. Some more backstory. I promise I'll give her my full attention. Oh, he has a knife gun, like a gun blade, but it actually works. Donsky, bro. Oh, very cool. 2009. I feel old. I feel very old. Oh, let's not think about those days. Okay. I'm gonna break this one down. It sounds as though it's the same dude from the first Assassin's Creed. However, this character he was trying to kill in the mask, he has some dirt on him. He knew something about his daddy. He wasn't cool about the, him talking about his daddy like that and his mom. So he ended up, you know, doing his, uh, what he does best, assassinate. And they had that little emblem, that cross, which I think was part of the assassins. Uh, I thought it was the emblem of the assassins. It could be right, it could be wrong. But he had some dirt on him. We don't know what that dirt is yet. I do suspect the games are connected because the era looked the same. I think the second one looked... I don't know if they were just in a richer area or whether it was in the future and things were just progressed. Time has progressed since then. But it looked like it was, yeah, nicer than the first one. All right, let's go into the third one. Cinematic Time Machine. Where are you taking us to next? So there was a 2007, 2009. Oh, I have not been paying attention to these. I think the other one was 14 something. So we're just fast forwarding a few years, which means that they might not be sequential. I was just in Rome not too long ago. The 
Pope or something? Oh, that looks like that guy from Shrek, Prince Charming. <laughs> yeah? No? All right, here's the infamous assassination in the trailer. This guy knows what's up. Sir, sir, you can't pass. How's he killing them? Oh, he has someone daggering them with arrows. That's such a pretty scene. Oh! He is OP. These are all level one noobs. He is at least level 30, at least. <laughs> Ezio Auditor. Brave of you to stand alone against me, but also quite foolish. Hey, that reminds me of that Renoa scene in Final Fantasy VIII where she holds the feather and then turns into a knight. Oh, the eagle took them all down. GG. There's definitely someone backing him up because not the eagle, so, like people, or maybe it is the eagle. No, his boys roll up. This is the creed part. This is the creed part. Ah, brotherhood. All right. 2010, wow, that was just a year after the other one was released. So I'm gonna guess this one. You're still an assassin, part of a creed, but you actually get to tap into your brothers. Brotherhood, hence brotherhood. So instead of working solo in this game, you have already learned a little bit more about the creed in the previous two games. And in the third game, they start to expose other elements of the creed which I think actually span throughout Italy because I believe every cinematic trailer we've watched so far has been based in Italy I know the second one was in Venice which I know smells the third one is in Rome I don't remember where the first one was but I suspect it's not too far and it also looked very Catholic and religious that's my guess am I right I'm just gonna say yeah I'm totally right all right let's go into the Fourth one, fourth trailer. Oh, I'm running out of garlic. It's not a good sign. So they took us 2007, 9, 10. Oh, they started adding vocals to their music too. Okay, so it looks like some dude got captured. He's on a boat. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Or maybe it was a different dude. And he's going on a world tour. Now he's in Greece. Now he's climbing a mountain. Now he's uh, peering over a mountain at a keep. Okay. So I think one of his boys got kidnapped and he's going after him. But... He didn't realize the solo mission wasn't the best option. Now he's very much regretting his choice. <laughs> oh, he left the arrow pierced in his body. Oh, he has some moves though. Okay, I'm underestimating him. It's one of those battle scenes where there's a hundred men and they all decide to attack the one guy one by one to lower their chances of winning. <laughs> they all just went at the same time. Oh, his infamous uh, sleeve blades. <gasps> Alright, he saw his boy, but it looked like it was kind of a hallucination or a memory. Okay, now he don goof up. He's going downtown. Oh, he totally regrets it. Uh... Hold. He's going to be hanged. Is there a place down south 
All right, that's definitely a memory. And they're going to hang him now. And he feels like it's Deja. Oh, hey, his eagle friend from the other cinematic trailer. No? Doesn't that signify that his boys are around? I don't know. That's what happened in the other one. It didn't look like he was going to go down without a fight. Revelations. Okay. That name alone helps me out quite a bit. Helps me out quite a bit. Here's my guesstimate for this one. So, one of his boys got captured. And he ends up going to rescue him. But he starts to have revelations about something even grander. A grander scheme in the background that he still hasn't. I mean, the cinematic trailer I can't really tell you because you have to play the game. <laughs> That's how they get you. That's how they get you. Um, yeah, no, that one was pretty cool. Let's go to cinematic trailer number five. I think we're on five. Oh, hey, they upgraded from Shrek era to Pirates of the Caribbean era. What is that? I actually don't remember what the era is called. The 1700s or something? Okay, a new eagle. I feel like these eagles have some sort of significance in this plot. And die in the name of freedom. They speak of liberty and justice, but for who? Is this what the eagle's thinking? <laughs> I think so, actually. <laughs> oh, that's his eagle! Shut up, you peasant! He just jokes his horse. That's like the Epona jump. The iconic Epona jump escaping. The ranch. Dexterity skills are super OP. I guess their boys don't want to shoot because they might shoot their boys. Okay, makes sense. I think these these uh Guns have knives at the end. I don't know. I've never seen them, but just assuming. Let's wait one by one. We can all take them down. Well, this is a war zone. He knows he's going downtown. He knows. It's just a matter of time. Oh! <gasps> Aimbot. Aimbot. Hates that symbol again! He knows he's next coming for him. The eagle. The eagle we know. The eagle actually is pretty key in all these trailers. Number three. Okay, you know what? I'm just thinking. Are these storylines connected or not? It doesn't really say. That's probably only... Assassin's Creed that was in a completely different timeline. The other ones could have been in the same timeline. I think that's 1700s. I also don't know my history, so don't, uh, you know, don't trust my words. But it looks like in this one, they are trying to help the people again. So they're on the good side. And they had to take out some of the key players, part of a larger war. That's what I suspect this one is. Different character then. They all look the same. They all look the same. But I think they're part of the same creed, which I believe might be across Europe. I don't know anything about this game. Okay, let's continue. 
They stopped telling you the eras, too. I guess it'll take a wild guess. I'm just gonna use TV shows. Pirates of the Caribbean era. Aimbot. We will die for what we believe in. We cannot be stopped. Oh, it does have a sword at the end of that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Production work. Life without freedom is not a life worth living. Sucks to be that dude. Oh, hey, that's like the first time I saw him use a gun. Oh, GG. Destroyed everyone. Oh, I was gonna say, I feel like it's, this is the same storyline as the other one we just watched. Pirates of the Caribbean era. <laughs> You know, when you're an assassin, gotta have some downtime. Let out some steam. He's looking for some trouble. Oh, he looks like a fancy boy. <laughs> That's one way to clear the table. Ah, it's like I don't like the way that guy's dressed. This guy's in on it too. He knows. Oh, okay. He looks pretty strong. Is that how bar fights in the past actually happened? Out of nothing. He's gonna catch it. Oh, <laughs> I got <called> that. Oh. <gasps> They actually showed what he looked like. Interesting. It's the first time we saw their face. We joked him. <laughs> I would do the exact same thing. Always loot your enemies. And then he said, peace out. Actually, I don't even know who's on this boat. Are they following? Oh, yeah, okay. So this is the assassin. And they're following him. I wonder why this guy is okay to just take off his hood. <gasps> boat fights in the past look so scary. Oh my gosh. I would be high anxiety if that were my boat. If I was a losing boat. <laughs> Why was that funny? He used his hook shot. Oh, he's so cool. He looks, this is uh, the Peter Pan era. <laughs> Is he the big boss? He is. I only have 20 other million knives in my body. <gasps> oh! Ooh. Ooh. He collects dice. Cool. What did that say, ricotta? <laughs> what did it say at the end? I, I feel like I should rewind. Did that say ricotta? No. The boat name. That's gonna... Delicia. Delicia? Like the pizza? <laughs> I don't even know what to think anymore. Okay. My, uh... My breakdown of this one. Who are they fighting? Oh, yeah. They went to go have a nice drink one day, 
And some guy looked at him totally wrong and he ended up starting a war with him. But what he didn't know was that dude who he started the war with, the pretty looking dude with the fluffy collar and stuff, he actually was a politician. No, he was an elitist that had a lot of friends in high places. And now he collects dice as a side hobby. <laughs> That's my synopsis. Okay, let's go on to the seventh trailer. I think I'm doing pretty good. What do you think? I think I'm doing great. I'll give you Blackbeard's honest opinion. Oh, you Blackbeard! Me, this, this is totally Pirates of the Caribbean area. Plunder, an adventure. I. Hey, it's the same guy. Amongst all the gentlemen of fortune sailing these West Indies, he, he has the Assassin's Creed flag. Ha ha. There was a time when I thought myself the deadliest scourge in these seas. Oh, he is packing. Packing heavy. But this man is a fearsome dog. This Assassin's Creed dude, the main character, he's not afraid to take off his mask. He's cool. Very cool. He definitely has a different fighting style than the other Assassin's Creed main characters. I wonder if it's because it's more futuristic where he has access to more weapons Ooh, okay i see i see and captain edward can wait your man only don't meddle in his private affairs he can't stop looking at his teeth they're so gross and even i dare ask Ooh, the infamous sleeve knife. Okay. She looks way too comfortable. Like, she was in on the whole thing. Or maybe she just thought this guy's better looking. Hey, Black Fly. Okay, so it's the same trailer. And he has Have a nice body. Been disrespected. Forced to follow orders. Oops. This guy has a rough pass. Would you rather defy your masters and live by the creed of pirates? Ooh. Oh, okay. His body ready is to tatted fight with his life experiences, including that three shot he had. <laughs> I remember that too. Oh, no. Calling all men of fortune. Willing to pledge allegiance to no one. Calling all who are ready to defy. Oh, hey, Blackbeard is his boy. Assassin's oh. Creed 4, Black Flag. Oh, it's the same game. How many trailers are there for this game? Because they're really pushing it hard. Okay, there's more to my dice story. It doesn't just end of him collecting dice or die. I think die is the plural of dice. He is a rogue-ish assassin. He's also not from that European area. Although, I mean, Pirates of the Caribbean days. I think that's European too, right? <laughs> Anyways, I have no idea. But he has a pretty deep and troubled past. Gone through a lot of shit. And he has taken his learnings and freedom that he's gotten through his Assassin's Creed Brotherhood relations, and he's become rogue. He's done great, right? It's totally it. I don't even need to play it. Let's go on to the next. <laughs> I'm only halfway there, and I'm out of garlic. Need more garlic. But I I was born into slavery. They are all born into a very rough. Ooh, of any those right graphics are amazing. Of any faith. All these assassins have a real tough I'm life. Sold, treated, treated for labor. Forced to watch the suffering. 
treated like a beast of burden. It's a tough life. With no future ahead of me. I chose the I life of an assassin. And I knew blood would be the price. This is a different one. This is very different. But similar in different ways. I never looked back. Never wanted to. Never had to. Until now. He's gonna come with the white hood. Oh no, a black hood. He's so badass. It has that same pirate ship. Okay, I'm piecing together some stuff. I got it. Assassin's I got Creed it. Freedom Cry. Okay. This is where the story's gone. That dude with the blonde hair on the pirate ship, he started kind of making it a thing. So he's all about freedom and liberty. And he ended up spreading his seeds of, not his seeds, but you know, his mindset of freedom across the different areas that he's traveled to, hence why his pirate ship was in the back. And he ended up spreading it to where this dude lived and liberated, liberated him to the point where now he wants to become part of the Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Excellent. Good job, Oli. Okay, I'm very proud. I'm actually getting pretty hungry. <laughs> these, these four garlics did not settle my stomach. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. I'm going to be doing a part two. It's just because there's so much to go through. I am enjoying it so far. I think I've been doing quite a good job on guessing what the storylines are about. <laughs> I will see you in the next video soon. Bye gamers!